Hiya folks, so as I said last week, I'm going through all the uh, old battles on my hard drive and uploading them, and this one's really old. Uh, chronologically, this one takes place between um, Battle 18 and Battle 19, um, you know, several, several months ago. Um, anyway, I'm using my Sydney team. Um, you'll have noticed that it's definitely not the Sydney team that I ended on. Um, between, this was during my period of transition when I was adding some new teams, um, and uh, you can already tell since there's no shiny um, Pidgey, uh, that is Charizard, this is an old version. Uh, Gardevoir is also my original Gardevoir rather than my synchronized version. Anyway, he, this guy uses Ubers, uh, and he starts off with Darkrai, which he pulls back and sends out Palkia in, play, in its place. Um, I have Rotom use Substitute uh, while um, I tell Gardevoir to use Trick Room, um, but that Substitute doesn't really do anything because Blastoise takes it down in one Hydro Pump. Um, oh well. Um, but Gardevoir does successfully set up the, the Trick Room, which is great because uh, most of my guys are going to be slower than his guys. Mm. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, have Gardevoir use Charge Beam against Blastoise, um, and I'm going to pull back Rotom and send out um, L Lantern um, by Rotom, since Lantern is also going to be really slow. Um, out goes Lantern, and uh, I attack with Charge Beam. Uh, it hits, but it doesn't do very much damage. Um, it does raise Gardevoir's special attack, though, um, but still really didn't do very much. Uh, Hydro Pump was aimed at Lantern, and even with the crit, uh, Lantern takes that for fun. Um, Palka uses Draco Meteor, which does a whole heaping amount to Gardevoir, but Gardevoir does survive. Uh, Gardevoir is really bulky, even in uh, this whole version. Um, my new one's even better since it's got perfect stats. Um, anyway, Gardevoir goes ahead and does another Charge Beam. Um, and I have Lantern use Thunderbolt. Really what I should have done is have uh, is use Thunderbolt against uh, Blastoise to take it out, but I was stupid here and aimed at Palkia. Anyway, he pulls back Blastoise anyway, so not that it would have mattered, and sends out Mewtwo. Uh, yeah, this guy's using a lot of Ubers. Um, anyway, I use Charge Beam, and it doesn't really do too much, uh, even though I do get the additional special attack boost. Um, Lantern uses Thunderbolt, which does a lot more than I was expecting. Oh, it's because it was a crit. I mean, that was a critical hit, and so it uh, does a whole lot to uh, Palkia. Palkia does another Draco Meteor, um, which only operating 50% doesn't do very much. Now it's operating at um, whatever minus 4 is. Um, I think that's, what, 33%? Uh, anyway, um, I'm going to... Uh, have Lantern use Thunderbolt while I switch our, out Gardevoir, which is a shame those two special attack boosts were for nothing. Um, in fact, that was actually really stupid. Why didn't I just attack? I guess it really couldn't have done too much damage um, against Mewtwo. Um, and so I send out Steelix instead. Um, so Thunderbolt does not take out Palkia, left with a slivery of HP. Um, uh, Palkia uses Aura Sphere, which does nothing to Lantern at minus four. Yeah, I, that was just funny. Uh, Mewtwo used Shadow Ball against Steelix, who's like, whatever, that doesn't hurt. Um, I love it when uh, I correctly predict moves like that. But anyway, Steelix goes ahead and uses Earth Earthquake uh, while I switch out Lantern for Rotom. Um, Lantern goes away. Uh, and out goes Rotom. Yep. And Steelix uses Earthquake, uh, which finishes off Palkia, um, and doesn't do too much against Mewtwo. Uh, Mewtwo, I guess, is pretty bulky. I didn't really think it was. I guess I should look at, look at its stats again. Um, yeah, it doesn't hit Rotom, obviously. Uh, Mewtwo uses Aura Sphere. I was really hoping uh, that was aimed at Rotom. Anyway, uh, the Trick Room has ended. I don't remember whether I actually counted, and that's why I sent Rotom back out or what. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and keep Earthquaking. Um, I, well, I do have uh, quite a bit of angst trying to decide what to do, but I do decide on Earthquaking. And Rotom, I'm going to have use Hidden Power Fighting to try to take down Darkrai. Um, yeah. 
so Darkrai uses Protect, so um, that sucks. Uh, and uh, so Hidden Power isn't going to do anything. Um, Mewtwo uses Shadow Ball to take out Rotom, which I was kind of hoping for, um, because that meant that uh, Steelix would get to attack again. Um, so by Rotom, nice fodder. Yeah. Um, and Steelix uses another Earthquake, which takes out Mewtwo? Yes, it takes out Mewtwo. Yay! So now I've taken out two of his Ubers, uh, which is great. Uh, and, um, you know, I'm kind of wondering at this point uh, whether, you know, this Darkrai has yet to use Dark Void. Maybe it's not going to, which would be great. Um, anyway, he sends out, he sends his Blastoise back out. He's down to his last two Pokemon. Uh, I'm actually leading. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use Gyro Ball um, against Darkrai. Um, since Darkrai is fast and Steelix is very, very slow. And Gardevoir, I'm going to have try to set up another Trick Room. Uh, take advantage of the low speed, especially since Rotom is now... And yeah, the Darkrai does have Dark Void. Um, and it puts both of my Pokemon to sleep, so he's a cheap little bastard. Uh, oh well. Uh, and Hydro Pump is going to take out Steelix. Um, again, I'm grumpy. Um, so this battle is the reason why my Gardevoir holds a uh, Lumberry rather than a Zoom Lens. Um, because this kind of thing happened, and I just was furious and upset. Anyway, I sent out Lantern, and I could use Heal Bell, but I decided, no, I just want to, uh, you know, take out some Pokemon. Um, Gardevoir's down to a sliver of health anyway. Uh, Darkrai uses Dark Void, and, um, it misses, which is great. Um, Blastoise uses Ice Beam, which does finally take out Gardevoir, so I'm glad I didn't use Heal Bell. Um, yeah, too bad. Um, I really think I could have won this match, uh, with Trick Room up. Uh, anyway, Lantern uses Thunderbolt, uh, and Blastoise is down. Hey, I'm curious whether there's a Trick Room, you know how, uh, Damp Rock, you know, extends the rain. Uh, I'm wondering whether there's a new item in black and white that extends Trick Room. That would be really nice. Dark Void misses again, and I'm like, ha ha ha, take that. Hydro Pump hits and does a massive amount of damage, um, so much so that I can uh, go ahead and use Thunderbolt on subsequent attacks, I figure, um, which is uh, much more accurate. But now it uses Dark Void again, and it puts uh, Lantern to sleep, but... Try not to panic here. Lantern's got a lot of HP thanks to leftovers. And so even with um, Bad Dreams uh, doing more damage than leftovers is recovering, I should be okay. He uses Dream Eater, which just made me laugh. It doesn't do too much damage. Um, but I was like, wow, you're so ballsy that you use Dream Eater? Uh, anyway, Lantern uses Thunderbolt, which I'm like, all right, die, die, and then it survives with like a sliver of HP, so that Dream Eater saved its life, and I'm cursing, and I'm like, ah, that's okay, I'll take it on the next turn, but no, Dark Void puts Lantern to sleep, and now Lantern's got no health to speak of, and Dark Pulse is going to get it down to a sliver of HP, and, um... Dark, uh, Bad Dreams is going to take it out. I'm like, please survive, please survive. Uh, not that it really would have mattered because it wouldn't have survived the next attack. But Lantern goes down, and I lose to this bastard. Um, and I'm upset, and I'm screaming. And that's why you haven't seen this battle up. Uh, that's why I didn't upload it, you know, three months ago when I recorded it. But anyway, uh, clearing it out on my hard drive now. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, and enjoy.